and this pissed young boy off. So he crashed out on live, asking why Kodak was speaking on him while locked up. These n me from a jail cell, man. These n me from a jail cell and be on my so bad. And it doesn't seem like these two will ever get along with each other because Kodak recently pissed young boy off again in 2024 because after Kodak got released from prison, he went off on rappers for painting their nails and told them that it's weird. We ain't with none of that Illuminati shit. And we ain't on none of that. Oh, the baby young boy, all this shit. We ain't on none of that pinch nails shit. We ain't on none of that shit. Don't never play with that shit with no shit, no snitch shit, no shit, no salt no no none of that We ain't on none of that. Here, let's get y'all, ladies and gentlemen, kings, queens. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling this today? We got NBA Young Boys most heated moments. Let's get smooth to it, man. You know what I'm saying? This is brought to us by Trapologist, of course. Let's get to it, man. Youngboy has been huge in the rap game since 2016, and we've seen just about every side of YB. So these True. are NBA Youngboy's most heated moments of all time. Let's start with Youngboy going off on Finesse two times. Out of nowhere, Youngboy Recently? posted a picture of Finesse's oh, yeah, girlfriend, yeah, yeah. Sugar, on his Instagram story after finding out that Finesse was in his wife's DMs. That's when Finesse responded to NBA Youngboy saying, you must forgot I'm from Memphis, homie. We ain't tender. Finesse then went live on IG, joking about how he didn't care that Youngboy wanted to talk to his girl. I got some serious on it. But young boy wasn't joking about the situation since he doesn't play about his wife. So he posted a video letting Finesse know that he'll hit him with that chopper. Hold on. He like young boy with the problem. Now I'm throwing off by his mama with that chopper. And that too. Who you talking to? That car better be bulletproof. That's when Finesse put another video up saying mental health is real since he feels like young boy is mental. And this completely pissed young boy off even more. Mind that mental health is real, throwed off mentally, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna be the one to engage, you know what I'm saying? Engage in what he going through because I know the feeling. You know what I'm saying? He, he what, like 21, 22, I'm 32. So after- oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, ain't, I ain't about to say old nigga, but like, you know what I'm saying? He's seasoned and that's like shit, so, you know, it'll be like that. Do I gotta know Diddy that? Probably, I'm doing it anyway. But, um, yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> when you got that nonchalant flow about you, that shit pissed niggas off ten times more than you sitting there and arguing with them. Fucking joking on, like, anything else, bro. The young boy saw this video, he felt some type of way and completely flashed off on Finesse since Finesse tried changing the topic. I ain't trying to hear none of that mental health boy. Hey, you know, you know how that turned out, you. You wrote my. I ain't tell you, I ain't tell you nothing. No, I'm running that back, I'm sorry. <laughs> I ain't trying to hear none of that mental health shit, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that delivery is fucking comedy. Stop on finesse since finesse tried oh changing the topic. Gosh, I ain't man. trying to hear none of that mental health, boy. Hey, you know, you know how that turned out, you. <laughs> you wrote my. Nah. I ain't tell you. I ain't tell you nothing. I po I told you something. This don't wanna at me. <laughs> I ain't tell you. I ain't tell you. Botch. Boy, when you play, I just post your. Keep that thing gangster. Damn. Be dope, they can play with my That's wife, real. Man. That's real, actually. That's real as fuck, actually. Right now, I'm motivation. I didn't think about it like that. Coach, man. Whole time, yo, on double back and slime stuff, man. You a man. I don't play like that, man. I'm, man, hey, we real gangsters, man. Hey, and throw so G around here. I, I politely ask my wife, man. I say, man, these three double back and play with me like that. Did what she did. Finesse then posted oh. another video on his story, acting like he didn't know what Youngboy was mad at. First, since he said he didn't understand That's or know what Youngboy was talking game. about at first, and that he doesn't care about a girl for real. About a gentleman. That what you young doing? You young out here putting y'all life and y'all freedom on the line about women now? Never. Mad because I'm liking his pictures. This ain't and that's even losing your, me, I ain't gonna like, lie. Bro, you, so you turned about all oh, your baby mama's I ain't had all this info. Bro, I asked my baby mama them, bro. I didn't, I, I didn't seen some of these videos, dope. but I ain't know the I didn't order and shit dope, like that. Bro, and 
and her and my baby mama and them get they back beat out for two three hundred when That's I was broken. That's nasty vibes. I'm not gonna lie. I'm cut different. Young boy then posted another video saying Vanessa's is dumb and this guy due to what he said he heard happening to his though. girlfriend. Man, that they even heard it. Baggy blow out, man. You told yeah, up. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, then you go sit and get some money. Boy, you're uncivilized. You're like, <laughs> you wanna be a real fella? You wanna be a fella now so bad? Man, you sound stupid as a. Man, that whole but Finesse isn't the only Memphis rapper right, Youngboy completely went off on. In 2017, Youngboy got heated and went off on Moneybag Yo out of nowhere Money one day. Back? Youngboy and Moneybag Yo were known to be cool with each other, yeah, especially I'll, since they, they dropped the collaboration like, mixtape together. Uh, the but moments tape, later, yeah. after the tape dropped, Youngboy went to Instagram talking disrespectful about the tape and Moneybag. Man, that tape. Yeah. And I won't smoke ain't plant on my son. Oh, y'all too. And I'm poor. No one knows the real reason behind that post, but things were pretty serious because Young Boy's crew allegedly got into an altercation with Moneybag's crew when they saw each other in the mall. And some think Young Boy only goes off on his enemies, but fans quickly found out that he'll do the same to his own people. Because there's even a video of him completely raging at one of his partners since his partner let someone snatch his chain. During a show in Greensboro, North Carolina, Young Boy lent a piece to his own boy, but he wasn't so lucky. Young Boy uh, stopped the show to announce that he was mad since someone stole a chain from his partner. You see that chain you just took out my partner, Nick? Hey, that chain you just took out my partner, Nick, that ain't his chain. That's my chain. I ain't really tripping off too He's clearly pissed and even threatens to hit a female fan who had gotten on the stage after he stopped performing. Oh my God. No one was stupid enough to openly admit that they stole the chain in a room full of crazy fans and his entourage. But TMZ later reported that a guy who stole the chain wanted a $20,000 ransom to return it. And since young boy's partner was lacking and let the chain get snatched off his neck, young boy went on Instagram the next day, heated, going off on his friend since he let that happen to him. You ain't snake off my neck, snatched it off his neck. Look at the camera with your scary let's snatch my chain off your neck. But that isn't the only time young boy has gone off on someone close to him. In 2019, his baby mama Yaya came over to his house and slashed his tires to try to get at him. After she did it, young boy went to IG that's nasty. Move over to his house. That's and slash nasty. Slash his tires. That's try to get out. That's nasty. Yo. Wow. This jacket is criminal. Who the fuck put you in this? I know you ain't got no stylus. Little darling. I know you don't. Oh my gosh. This shit is fucking. This shit is really criminal. You look like a smooth criminal. You're not smooth. Never mind, I retract that statement. You look crazy. This is insane. This big buff ass jacket. Nah. YB, I know you ain't let her do that on me. Crazy. After she did it, young boy went to IG to let her know how he felt about her and that he didn't really care. But you could tell that he was pissed off. You think I give a f you old f You wanna come cut my tie, huh? I Slime, free the dog. I got foreigns all in it. Your old inherited. Yeah, oh. everything I got, everything I got, I made on my own. Oh, you see that cat? Mm. Yeah, it's 4K Trey. We but Yaya isn't the only one of his baby mamas. I had to think about it for a second. I was like, Yaya, that's fucking Mayweather, fucking uh, daughter. I was like. What you mean inherited? It, 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 it's, it's the same with that, but I had to think about it. That he's gone off on. Because one day, he went on live on IG randomly, going off on all of his baby mamas, since he felt like there were nothing but headaches to him. Probably ain't still how much money you got. That probably blew up money, man. That probably blew all them churn money on them stupid. Now you want to come and on everything go on with what up to man. And, but she, I ain't got no problem with that world. And she should not. I want to speak on one, but that. That. <laughs> he started lagging. Like I'm a stupid, disgusting, stick by that. Oh. Yeah. She should not want let that man come and let she come. It's one thing to go off on your partner for letting hey, them bro, snatch you, a you chain or dog. your baby mama for cutting your tire. 
But fans felt that young boy took things too far when he went off on his mom and kicked her out of the house. In 2018, he went live on Instagram with DJ Academics and told Academics how he never had a mama or a dad in his life. I ain't never had no daddy. And I ain't never had no mom, and my mama living. Not long after that live, another live that's, surfaced on the internet of insane. young boy throwing his mom out of the house he bought for her since he didn't want her going live on Instagram. After this, young boy's mom came out and made a video letting everyone know she was not going to let her son control her life just because he has money. You gonna give me? house and tell me who I can and can't have in my house, you can have your house back in the room, you're not finna play with me, I'm not finna do it, I don't give a but that ain't the only elder that young boy got heated at and went off on because he did the same with podcast host Joe Button. Man, Since Joe, Joe Button. decided to speak on young boy's name one day on his podcast. Because one day, Joe called young boy trash and stood by his statement. Because he kept talking about it, how he was trash. If that nigga Hayen call him Joe Button. Pussy. <laughs> Classic. Hey, young boy. Uh, not ready to do this. Uh, what's the truth? And trash. He's horrible. Oh my God. He is horrible. Is comedy. And not long after YB saw the clip, <laughs> he went to IG going off on Joe for calling him trash. The last thing I dropped was a side to two. My album's still in the top 10. Don't speak on me. I don't play that. Don't rat on me. Neither you. He then invited Joe Button to come to his crib and do an interview with him since he was ready for the smoke. Hey, do all them interviews. Hey, come on, Grave Digger. Grave Digger. I was like, what is the mountain called? Grave Digger Mountain. There you go. I was just remembering. There's no telling what would have happened if Joe had actually gone to YB's crib. But when he went off on Charlemagne, it seems like he was even madder because he even dropped a whole diss track yeah, dedicated yeah. to him. One day, Young Boy was doing an interview with Bootleg Kev. And during the interview, Young Boy made a statement about how he's not really big on fatherhood, even though he has 11 kids. You know, obviously, you do have a lot of children. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, I've been around you to see in a short amount of time that you're a great father. How important is fatherhood to you, man? Not really big on it, to be honest. So after Charlemagne saw that clip, he decided to give NBA Youngboy Donkey of the Day and felt like he was stupid for not being big on fatherhood since he has 11 kids. Mm. Fair, I guess. I don't know, for a second, I don't know what that threw me. He has 11 kids, but in his words, he's not really big on fatherhood it's all about giving people the credit they deserve for being stupid but it's also about using things like this as a teachable moment i didn't know i would have to say this but my brothers that is whack after yb saw what Charlemagne said about him young boy responded to Charlemagne, telling him to stop riding his d too much. But it doesn't stop there because YB even went on to drop a whole diss song towards Charlemagne <laughs> named Act the Donkey. Act the donkey. And the song he raps tells Charlemagne he invited to Grave Digger Mountain. All yeah. he got to do is pull up on me and talk to me face to face so I could bat you in your and hit, hit you, you with that drink. The song instantly went crazy with views once it dropped. Fans were shocked that YB was so mad at Charlemagne about the situation to drop a whole diss, but YB isn't afraid to go off on anyone. He even uh -huh. decided to go off on YouTube yeah, one day since they uh, kept yeah. copywriting his video. Because YB was trying to post, he told YouTube to stop blackballing him. Blackballing me. Suck my I still don't give a f It matter me. It matter. And now, let's move on to one of Young Boy's most heated moments of all time. Because Jay the Youngin was a huge no. fan and always spoke well on Young Boy. In 2018, Jay even told DJ Vlad, I'm, I'm a fan of Young Boy music. We gonna collaborate pretty soon and just and put on Fire State because when we do, <clears throat> I feel like that's just gonna be one of the hardest collaborations ever. And Jay thought him and Young Boy were cool with each other. One day, Jay posted a snippet of a song he had with Young Boy oh, on his Instagram. Yeah. But YB wasn't rocking with it and commented, delete that. Jay deleted the post yeah, and a couple weeks later, YB he went live, like... explaining that he didn't care about the song and now he wasn't going to let anyone disrespect him. No play with me, ain't so disrespect me and it just feel like the slide. Then in 2020, Jay dropped the song 38K and exposed the situation. Because in the song, he said, you put that comment on my post. Yeah. They laughed about that. But I was laughing when your baby mama gagged all on my d and it's rumored. I still, yo, I'm not gonna lie. I I really don't get it. Like that, if like 
that when is that ever a flex? Is that really like when niggas be thinking? Like my baby, my BM, really? Like I mean, I guess we got connections, we got ties, so I mean, I guess, I guess, but like that's that's your ceiling. Mm that shit is a bad vibe. Not gonna lie. That after the diss, young boy and his crew slid on Jay and tried to get him whacked. You niggas be hiding. We were a head hunter, yeah, man. Come on, man. A nigga opened their mouth, came to where they was, man. Nigga, and you caught the kid and left, a and left another fat man in the blind. Oh, we. Quando even hopped in the situation that made fun of Jay for getting his jewelry taken. But you got your shit too. Two fing times. You and go to prison and get your shit too. Oh, and it ain't always celebrities young boy goes off on either he was filming in an area called watts la and apparently some locals weren't having it so they pulled up to try and press him and his people a video of what went down shows young boy angrily walking around a crowd of people and repeating you heard me biggie while a car drives by full of dudes hanging out of the windows yelling at him one of the dudes in the car said you and watch boy that's when young boy and his people got heated and someone in the nba crew allegedly pulled out his strap that's when the dudes in the car ducked down and drove off and the crowd watching the scene right. ran away screaming I was gonna say, I heard that motherfucker. the video cuts off yeah, there right. and thankfully Nothing bad happened in this situation. The fuck and these on. fans are lucky they didn't get harmed in this next situation because Young Boy was insanely heated with what they did. Because when Young Boy lived in Houston, everyone knew where he stayed. So one day, some guys broke into Young Boy's house and recorded themselves robbing it. Oh really? And Young Boy taking. And look at this doing shit for the net. Yo, creep. And talking I'm shit. Violent. On the guys, we taking everything. When Young Boy like saw the video, he wasn't impressed with what they did. So we went on Instagram and spoke about the situation. Young Boy later contacted the guys who broke into his crib and told them to pull up on him. What up? You want to buy your What? You ain't get You flunked out I'm trying to see where you at. You dumb mother You got $20 out of car. And the guys knew better not oh to pull God. up on him because there's no telling <laughs> what would have happened. But now, let's move on to one of Young Boy's most viral and heated moments that fans will never forget. Kodak uh, and Youngboy are known say, to have on Kodak. and off beef with each other. And things got pretty serious in 2020. Kodak sparked the beef back up with you, Youngboy you, 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 after you, you, he heard you, you, rumors you, you, you. that Youngboy cooperated with the police after Yaya Mayweather poked another one of Youngboy's baby mamas. So Kodak made an Instagram post saying how Youngboy shouldn't have told on Yaya and he shouldn't be cooperating. And this pissed Youngboy off. So he crashed out on live asking why Kodak was speaking on him while locked up. He me from a jail cell, man. He me from a jail cell and be on my so bad and it doesn't seem like these two will ever get along with each other because Kodak recently pissed Young Boy off again in oh, 2024. Yeah, because after Kodak got released from prison, he went off on rappers for painting their nails and told them that it's weird. We ain't with none of that Illuminati. We ain't on none of that. Oh, I love baby Young Boy, all this. We ain't on none of that paint your nails. We ain't on none of that. They'll never play with with no no snitch, no no smoke, no no none. Of that. We ain't know none of that. He mentioned Lil Baby in the video as well, but Baby didn't take Kodak too seriously and just made a story saying that he's never painted his nails. So don't include him in that. But YB, on the other hand, was pretty you know heated he and told Kodak to come now. get his nails redone for him I now since he, he cares so much. I need him redone. And I ain't right the nigga he talking about. I love you too, son. I ain't, I ain't do you nothing. Now, let's move on to when Youngboy went off on a YouTuber for lying like they had a phone call with Youngboy. Because YouTuber Corey made a post on Facebook back in 2019 saying, me and Youngboy have been talking since eight. This man really cool. But Corey was capping the whole time and trying to get clout off YB's name. So YB posted yeah. a video that let Corey know that he never talked to him. You never spoke to me. I don't know who the f everybody think they been talking to. Man, y'all people don't yeah. talk to me. I don't <laughs> talk to nobody. No dumb rapping no YouTuber, none of that. 
But this isn't the yeah. only time YB went off on a YouTuber or a streamer. One day, popular yeah, Twitch streamer yeah. Aiden Ross went live on I Instagram with like, YB's baby yeah, mama tonight in front of 40,000 viewers. And after clips of the Instagram live started to go viral, young boy quickly found out and was heated since people said Aiden like, was flirting with tonight. Aiden? So he uploaded a snippet a few days later dissing Aiden, saying, Tell that YouTuber or streamer, whatever he well, is, stop, stop playing, playing with me. And now we got them gunners laying with him. Damn. He even went on to this Aiden's girlfriend, calling her ugly. This had the whole this internet dead, going crazy. And Aiden and instantly let YB you know, know how he was trolling now. and he didn't want beef with him. He even went on TikTok to make an apology video oh to Youngboy. And Youngboy also had a pretty weird moment where he got heated at an interviewer for talking to him too much. At first, everything was all cool, but out of much, nowhere, right? his whole energy changed because he ends the interview and starts working on music. I was gonna say, last time I seen that, I thought I was tripping. Yeah, I think I made a track. I know at the time. You know, she can be spoke on. Why? My is to be continued. Is in terms of like every time it's. But YB ain't the only one that disrespected an interviewer. <laughs> Broke his F, did the same, and up the whole Draco on Hood Rich Kevin for asking him a. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. I got the promo. The, the promo. See, niggas gotta be just saying shit. But no, I'm fucking weak. In the clip, it makes it so much funnier because it's like, nigga, you you the one doing the yapping, and this nigga talk for two seconds, <laughs> talking too much fucking much. So this is funny as shit. But hey, man, hey man, shout out to you know what I'm saying. Shout out to YB. Shout out to the tribologist. You know, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Links in the description. Get into them. Y'all take it easy. Good bit, 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 bit. Good bit.